So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create meta sounds, which is a new feature in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it is more versatile and uh, much more powerful than the old sound cue and just dropping sounds all over the place. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, basically what you do. I've downloaded four sounds. You can go get these on YouTube or some sound uh, wave site that you can find. Now you can't put MP3s in, so just be aware that uh, right now you see the WAV file, that's a sign that it is a WAV file. Um, you need to uh, make sure. So look, I'm going to drag in an MP3 right now just so you can see what will happen. And what you're going to see is that it'll uh, have this symbol, which is not something we want to use for what we are doing. So delete it. Uh, we definitely want to have WAV files that work uh, in the video game. Now you can always go to a website and convert MP3s if you need. Uh, there are lots of free websites that you can do that with. And what I'm going to do now is go to uh, Meta Sounds under Sounds um, and select Meta Sound. And I'm going to give it a name. I'll just call it One. And click at the bottom to open it. So you see you have your input and your output, and uh, we want to keep it simple. Sometimes um, we want to keep everything mono. Um, so what we're going to do here is, uh, I can't remember if you drag it out, will it work? So I want to go get a wave player. Um, it's not popping up immediately. It's probably in there somewhere. Let's just right click here and type wave player there's several there's wave player 5.1 stereo we want mono just to keep it simple um, <clears throat> really it's all that we need for what we're doing now what we're going to do is uh, go get one of the sounds select it and then click the little arrow key and it's going to add it and then we're going to drag this over and uh, there's these two nodes one is for uh, where you plug out the mono and this one here uh press on on play um it's not playing oh okay i remember what i have to do here so what i'm going to do is take it out from on play and put it in on finish as you can see the node is called unfinished and now you're going to hear it play um, so there you go so let's bring that in working fine now we're going to create a variable to create an array so we can have several kind of sounds playing from our our game so what uh what we're going to do is just click this plus button and the variable is created we're going to rename it um, to something that we'll be able to so music change and we need to change the type to wave asset so just type it in if you don't see it it's probably um, just click right there and what we're going to do is I only I'm going to only put two sounds right now so I'm going to press this twice so press twice and select one same as last time press the little arrow press again plus and go get another one press the arrow there so I have them now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, um, just drag it, and it's going to create a get automatically, I think. It's usually what it does. And what we want to do is, uh, do we drag it right in here? I'm just trying to remember. Oh, no, I think we need to create a random get wavelength. And what we're going to do now is drag that value into here so it no longer is the same asset. It's going to play the two that we've added. And on play, we want that. So, you know, that's the way you want to rewire the nodes. And here you can hear it playing. Um, again, my sound is acting up here. You might not hear it, but I'm telling you it is playing. Um, so, I'm just going to wait for this to save here. It's take a few seconds. What we want to do now is turn it on in our, our game so that when we start playing, we have this nice background music or uh, whatever you ended up. So like, and we're going to set it so that it loops and delete this because it won't loop because when the two songs are going to be over, it'll stop playing. So that's the little secret there. Click save. And 
you want to do now is go and uh, close this. We're going to go to uh, our uh, level blueprint. Uh, we just click the G key to get rid of all those artifacts that we don't need. So we'll go to open level blueprint. I had already done this, so I'm going to just delete this one. And I'll just show you. I'm just going to drag my meta sound right in there and drop it in and you're going to hear it play as soon as I press play. So that's pretty much how that works. It's a very handy way to create sound and it's much better than it used to be. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.